LPT request how to survive my wedding as an introvert. I hate weddings or I hate the idea of being part of a wedding. Don't even want to say groom it feels so cringe. I'm M33 fiancé is M29. I have bad facial scar from years ago and I never publicly stand up and speak. Never have. Never want to. I want to go to registry office in jeans and just get it done. But that makes me the bad guy as fiancé wants a special day. My ideas. I could wear normal clothes. Do it outside or somewhere isolated. Do it in a different country. Do it in space. Lol. Wear a COVID mask all day long. I'm seriously panicking already but I have time as it's gonna be early next year. Other introverts how did you survive being the center of attention on your wedding? I feel like hell already and I can't keep feeling so anxious for months. Update. I literally just got in from a gig and saw all these notifications so I'm gonna take a look now. I appreciate so much the advice and support on this. Update 2. I am going to sleep on this. What I'm taking away is. I need to focus on my fiancé and not on myself. And kind of just man up for a day. Thanks for all the ideas. And support. And congrats. I totally like the idea of the private dance. So there are no eyeballs on that moment. Fiancé is gonna get his little nothing else matters moment but. Just us two alone. Also the speech thing I don't have to do it. Fiancé can do it. But. Someone suggested I stand up beside him instead of remaining seated? And I like that one. So thanks. To everyone that suggested therapy. Xanax. Edibles alcohol I think you're all right and I'm gonna look into anxiety reducing measures. It's clearly become more of a wider problem than I realized. Once more. Thanks a million. C. One wedding I went to the bride and groom exchanged vows in private. Then the ceremony was basically the procession. Words from the officiant. A reading or two. And a blessing. Then the processional to the bar. Super simple and quick and you don't have to be the focal point of everything for too long and you. Can give your hubby a wonderful heart full message of love and commitment without spectators. The dinner itself is a blur. Toasts and dishes and cakes. Dancing if you are up for it. Being painfully shy with social anxiety is not the same as being an introvert. Panicking at social gatherings isn't a trait of being an introvert that comes from social anxiety. I find that when focus on myself is uncomfortable, it helps to move that focus onto somebody else. Try focusing on your bride's feelings rather than your own. And remember that you are not the center of attention. She is. Think of yourself as her guardsman and assistant through the day and less about being a groom. And make it a task to make her happy. Good luck and remember to smile. Smile. I could give you a lot of great advice. As an introvert. But you don't need advice from an introvert. Because you have social anxiety. Start with addressing your social anxiety first. The rest is just skills. Like learning to type. Or throwing a bowling ball. Once you get the context of your social anxiety. You can address the skill set. Therapy? How is saying groom cringe? Are you me? My wedding is this Saturday. And I'm freaking out about it. But all I'm going to focus on is how good my wife is going to look in her dress. Also. The people I'm close to that are going to be there understand my issues so they know their job is. To keep me calm. Maybe you should also get a friend close family member to run interference for you when you're. Feeling overwhelmed on the day. Good luck. Honestly. You grin and bear it. Your wedding day is an important day in your life. But that doesn't mean it's going to be the best day of your life. 
Focus on the smiles of your friends and family, celebrating your love, and looking forward to what comes next. You just have to go into it with the mindset that you are determined to have fun and make it to the other side of the experience. Suggest eloping. You can basically go straight to the honeymoon. Save money. Have no guests. Still have lovely clothes. I'd say grit your teeth and survive. Wedding day only happen once in a lifetime ideally among God knows how many years you will live. Good luck and congrats. If you have social anxiety, ask your doc for beta blockers. Game changer no problem public speaking etc. Try them out beforehand. Most docs will prescribe for events like this. Nobody cares about your scar. Someone wants to marry you. Commit their entire life to you. That's how much your scar doesn't matter. Everyone will be happy for you. Reframe this day as a day you also get to commit to someone you love so much forever and show your family and friends how much you two care about each other. The day will go by very quickly and will be over before you know it. Just focus on your spouse to be and the loved ones you're surrounded by. Nobody is thinking mean things about you. And if they are, who cares? You've already got the ones you love by your side. Have a conversation with your fiancé about this making sure you are clear this is not a representation of how much you love him. Be clear about what parts are freaking you out and find out what you two can compromise on to make. Sure this is enjoyable for both of you. If anything new comes up, have another conversation. Remember this is about the marriage, not just the day. If you hate weddings then don't have a wedding or discuss a better alternative wedding with your fiancé. You could have a small short wedding with a handful of friends and close relatives instead. Why would you expect her to meet your introvert needs if you can't meet an extroverted need of hers? Even once? If it's important to her, you'll do it. Get it out of your head about how you don't want to do it and shift into a mindset of being totally willing to because you know how important it is to her. This won't be the only time BTW. If she's more extroverted than you, there's an expectation that you'll come out of your shell now and then so she can get her needs met. 2. Whether that's dinners, company, whatever. Part of loving someone is proving it instead of just saying it. It sounds like it would be a good idea to see a therapist and talk through your anxiety. I do weekly therapy and it's made a world of difference. That with a combination of taking anti-anxiety medications when needed helps a ton. I also use Benadryl when I don't need something as strong as an anti-anxiety medication. It's a close cousin to anti-anxiety meds and helps keep me calm and collected. Working on the root cause as early as possible before the wedding will help you the most. Your body will pump such a hormone cocktail into your brain. You'll be on drugs. Don't worry. This is coming from another introvert and it was the best party I ever went to. I'd even do it again with my current wife of course. We had 200 people to the church and put on afternoon tea for them. Then relaxed timeline for photos and dinner was immediate families and grandparents for a total of maybe 17. Relax, be yourself and you'll have fun. Aside from causing a scene you pretty much can't mess up so enjoy. Do it tiny and with just your favorite people there. I'm super introverted and didn't want any huge fuss for my wedding. We got married in the largest room of our city's registry office with about 20 closest family and friends. Afterwards we had a private room booked out at a upmarket pub bistro and had dinner and drinks with them all. It was lovely. Low stress and comparatively low cost. You're not an introvert you're socially anxious don't use the terms wrong. I had a small wedding outside in a beautiful place. We didn't have a DJ yay no dancing and most people just loved the place we were at and were. Looking at the views. I'd look into managing your anxiety in general. Maybe even therapy.